Coming up later, Paige Hemis shows you how to make a DIY Explorer sandbox that your children will love. Wow. I, apple juice is so good no, for you. you not, no, 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 it's apple cranberry. You should drink up. It's so good. <laughs> it's not juice. Oh, wait, that's not apple oh, juice. Gosh, that's Look, stinks. teaming up today, showing us how we can actually dye those Easter eggs and do it the natural without all the chemicals is Ken Wingard. And there is a science behind what makes those colors stick to that egg. And who would know better about that than Dan Kohler? That's right. Yes. Team team. Yay. Yay. It's Easter, and it's time to like sort of do the eggs. In the past, we've done the, the kits you buy, but there's so many kind of chemicals, and I and also I just don't aesthetically like it. And yeah. it sort of is kind of a, a quickie with the kids. So I wanted something that was going to be more beautiful, mm -hmm. all natural, and actually give me sort of a learning time with the kids. So we sort of played around it with this weekend. I called okay. Dan to sort of like get the details, and and then Coco, what did you want to do? Don't people make Easter eggs? So <laughs> she came along as my like you know yes. assistant instructor. I don't even see you guys anymore. It's <laughs> <laughs> all I'm just looking at that cute little face. <laughs> so um, how is this all possible, Dave? Well, everyone, go ahead and start putting your eggs in those oh, little really? jars in front of you. The truth is that really you. all of the colors we know in foods come from about three chemical compounds. We've got uh, we've got carotene, which gives us yellows and oranges. We've got anthocyanin, which gives us reds and purples, and then we've got chlorophyll, which we know is green. Green, and everything, right? And so, you know, Ken called me and I went to the grocery store and I thought, all right, where are the most vibrant versions of all of these chemical compounds? So I collected that and then I went back to Ken and said, look, I know the chemistry of it, but I actually don't know how to dye eggs. I've never done this at home before. Aww. So that's why we're teamed up, because I can explain it, but I, can't, I actually can't it's like, do yeah, this. Next time we do Easter eggs, don't team up with the Jew. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, oh, yeah. Yeah, this is was, all new to me. Yeah, yeah. 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 was Jewish. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I know if he did Easter eggs. You'll be here so right. I, and I didn't go, like everything he just said, I had no idea about at all. So I went into my cupboard, and you know, I know how this works. You can do it with, with, with fabric, you can do it with eggs, and all you're gonna do is take your vegetable. Mine was much more trial and error. You're gonna chop it up or shred it. I use beets, blueberries, onion skins, what have you, and then you're gonna mix that amount of vegetable with an equal amount of water and just pop it in. And what you're gonna do is cook it for about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, and actually, we did this at home with the kids. We have some video. All right, is everyone ready to start making yeah. eggs? Yeah. Are you ready, Flynn? Yeah. Are you ready, Margo? Yeah. Are you ready, Coco? Yeah. Okay, so first thing we have to do is we have to make our color. You want to put those into a bowl? It was like so much fun and so easy. And with the kids, it was like they were really interested to know what color, what the vinegar did, which I had to call down and find out. Um, and we went to the cupboard. Well, there you go. And it was just like it made the whole thing just this. You're all taken. We just have to wait, okay? The waiting was the hardest part, I have to say. Oh, it always is for the kids. You know, I, first of all, I want to know what does the vinegar do, and then what vegetable and fruits did you use? So we right. add a little bit of vinegar because actually eggshells are made of something called calcium carbonate, and uh, vinegar is acetic acid. Now, acetic acid splits the calcium from the carbonate, and we, when we add a little bit of, of the vinegar in there, it actually helps that calcium absorb the color, and you can see But here, now, I have to say, yes, a little bit of the vinegar. Because <laughs> when I was doing it, a couple tablespoons, but then I got impatient, and I put a ton of vinegar, like a cup, into my coffee oh. one, oh and when God. I pulled it out, look at that. Oh, that's oh terrible. So what, what was happening? So that's what's happening here. Out. I've soaked eggs in vinegar for one day, two like days, potato. and three days, and you can see here on the first day, the carbon dioxide is actually coming out of the shell. Now on day two, we're seeing all of that calcium fall apart, and by day three, there's actually no shell left. It's just the membrane. All three of these were brown eggs, by the way, when we started out. So oh my God, it's gonna explode. That's just the, the <laughs> Is that creepy? creepy? Egg so yolk? that's so that's that what's what that's the membrane holding all of the raw egg together. Now that's actually what vinegar is doing. Now when it comes to colors, here's what we used. We used turmeric to get this really beautiful yellow. I'm good. I'm good. Then we got some just yellow yellow onion skins, and this actually is one of my favorites. Oh, that's oh, that color that is beautiful. I love and it that gives, color. Yeah, because those onion skins give it a lot of depth. 
Here's red oh, onion. It's like a brown. I yeah, like it's that. almost maroon. Maroon's now, red cabbage is interesting because cabbage is a pH indicator, so it changes oh. depending on the acidity or alkalinity of a substance. So we got this bright blue from there oh because I added a little bit that. of baking yeah. soda. And I was not that smart, so to get my blue, <laughs> all I used was blueberries. Papa, yeah. I want to take out mine. You want to take yours out now? No, no. You want to wait? Well, good point here. The longer you leave them in, the stronger the color gets. So with my kids, we did them, left them 20 minutes, but you left some of yours Some in. of these actually I left in two days. That blue I got, I took about two days. But the fun thing is with kids here, you put them in the refrigerator and it's a science experiment right. together. Have them open up the fridge every day and check on the eggs because you can oh, see the, the vibrancy Coffee of the color really begins to change. And you can use that white eggs or brown egg. eggs and the, it'll, you'll get different right here. Does it absorb the flavor of the vinegar? It itself? doesn't. Actually, it doesn't. these are all just hard boiled eggs. Now you can see this is a, a brown egg that I soaked in red cabbage, and we got something like a mottled green here. So you can really experiment right. here with color combinations. And I have to say, so once you once you um, cook it, so if you can take a look here, you've got this wonderful, the, all the colors come out of here. You want to actually take out your solids, and what I didn't do is I didn't strain it very carefully, and so my eggs, you get much more mottled because you got fibers and but some I like pieces that. in there. I, Dan, I like he a lot. strained them, and so you get a much pure, even color. So you got that. But, but I like them both. They look like they're marble stones. Don't they? Something. Yeah, and a lot of this, you know, I think, Ken, you were using some pomegranate juice and some other this things. This is great juice Now, right those here. have a very high sugar content. So what, Ken, you're seeing here is crystallization from a super-saturated uh, solution of sugar crystals that are gathering on the eggshell, which makes for a really beautiful texture at the end. Yeah. My dad this is also great to do with the kids. You're having fun, but you're also educating them, which I love. And we don't really, right. we, you know, it really shows us where colors come yeah. from in, in nature, as opposed yeah. to using, you know, industrial chemical dyes. Correct. These are real colors. Yeah. Yeah. Look, but that's how, it, before paint was discovered, yeah. they this is what we would have done. painted right. with exactly. these things. And I have to say, for all the parents out there, I know it's a lot of time and effort to do this, but the experience with the kids and what they yeah. learned, it made the whole thing just like such a more fulfilling experience, I think, for them and for me. Plus, you yeah, don't have all those colors. Learn. The yeah. I learned yeah. great. Yeah. What I did. Yeah. Well, I had ham over my shoulder. <laughs> so, yeah, so try it. At least this Easter, go out, do something different. Details Thank are you guys. instructions Thank you on our Pinterest yeah. page. Oh, and more great ideas from Ken and Dan. You can visit their site. Yeah. as well. We're going to come back. Got a few extra pounds. <laughs> Debbie and Lawrence are going to help you disguise that. Oh, yeah. That's right, ladies. If your man has gained five or ten extra pounds this holiday season, never fear. Your dream team's here. That's right. Or if you gained five or ten pounds, we're going to show you how to hide it with the clothes you have in your closet. Right. But you don't have to.